Hello. This is a reflection for tomorrow, Wednesday the 22nd of July, the Feast of St Mary Magdalene. The Gospel reading is from John chapter 20. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in, and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I love this passage and I suspect many of you do as well often heard on Easter Day, reminding us that Mary Magdalene, in John's account, is the first witness of the resurrection. A woman. And Jesus' friend, the person who owed him everything, the person who was devoted to him, and one of the few who stayed with him during his crucifixion and who refused to give up on him. That's why she came to the tomb early on Sunday morning, so that she could anoint his body. And then the astonishment of an empty tomb, and angels, and then a strange man whom she takes to be the gardener in a wonderful comic moment. Perhaps Jesus is different. The other resurrection appearances suggest that might be the case. Or perhaps she, her eyes are full of tears and she can't see properly. And of course she isn't expecting it. So for me, Mary Magdalene stands for the unexpected joy of Easter, of discovering that Jesus is risen from the dead, of realising in a moment that all our, our fear, our anguish, our grief, all of this is taken away, washed away, blown away, by the sheer, astonishing, recreative power of God in raising his son from the dead. And this power, this resurrection power and this truth are still alive, are still for us today. As together with Mary Magdalene on this day, we rejoice in Jesus Christ, risen, ascended, glorified. Amen. The moment of prayer. Loving God, we thank you for Mary Magdalene, for her 
unshakable devotion to Jesus, for her witness to his resurrection, for what she represents to us, that love which will not let us go, which is your love for us, her love for him, and his love for all of us, now and ever.